sometimes you just gotta look up, you know, look at the bright side, and also look at how we're doing the pachinko machine this time. Yeah, rip us. Oh, we're fucked as fucked can be. Anyway, usually they want you to use the rocket nozzle of the boats, but we can just go ahead and not do that. Um, what was I thinking? Oh yeah, I don't need no boat. I don't need no stinking boat. I should have just used the boat. I should have used the boat. I should have used the flipping boat. Here we go, here we go. We got this, we got this, we got this. You know what? Just use the boat. Use the flipping boat. Anyway, Pachinko Machine! Yay! Uh, I actually don't like using the flood nozzle here, but anyway, the first one you can get really easily. Uh, by just doing this. No, no, you fucking faggot. Or, no, 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 you're, you're, you're queer. No, no, stop. Mate! Oh! Dude, I press A and you do nothing. You fucker. You fucking faggot! What, did you freaking. Oh my goodness. I've done that like a fucking gazillion times and it doesn't work this one time because I'm making a video. Anyway, this thing has some absolutely terrible physics. Like, it is just. This thing is a fucking nightmare. Whoever designed it and whoever put it in the game, whoever made the decision to leave it in the game, whoever tested it and said, yeah, it's good to go. It's a good. It, it, it works properly. It's a, it's, a, it's a good mission. I would have rather, you know what, throw in 10 more blue coins and replace this piece of shit. Fuck this thing. It is awful. By design, by gameplay, by concept, everything about it is trash. It is garbage. It is just pure, pure garbage. It's garbage and it's lock based and it's actually... Well, it's not even completely like base, but then it's tedious, and then you're gonna die a lot, and you'll get fucked over by stupid physics that don't even make any goddamn fucking sense. And then you just you just can't really work it very well. I like coming in here with a rocket nozzle though, because it's a lot easier, actually, believe it or not. And then there's actually some trick to it, like you hold left to get into the green, you leave it alone just to go to the middle. And then you try your damnedest to get into the purple ones. And then you hold right to go to the blue. And then, well, since we have the flood nozzle, hold right and do a little bit of this. Oh no, get in the purple. Get in the, get in the purple. <gasps> oh, I thought I thought I fell through. I thought I might have fell through. Okay. We if we can get the screen, then we can just then it should be no problem. Just, just get in the green, get in the green, get in the green, get in, okay, we'll get in the purple, we'll get in the purple, we'll get in the purple, get in the purple. Just, just get in something that will rebound me. You know, if we don't get in the green, get in, don't fall below. Also, if you fall below, you can just kind of save yourself in, in, uh, with the rocket. Okay, there we go. That's it. That's all eight red coins. That's it. That's the, that's the pachinko machine. That is the final, that's the final freaking try in the game besides getting the... Uh, blue coin shines and the final boss. Let's let's just pick it up. Okay Here we go. All you have to do is jump. Don't hold a damn thing not touching a damn thing Okay, and then just go go like slightly over here and then boom done That is the easy one of the easiest runs of the Pachinko Sheen I've ever had in my fucking life You know, I thought this whole video was going to be the Pachinko Machine because, I mean, just straight up, like, that's usually what I would expect. Because, 
Well, it's the pachinko machine. I, I thought I would have like a ton of fails and everything, but that was really easy. And it took so little time that I guess this is the finale. Let's go. Well, okay, this isn't the finale because we're, we're not quite done yet. Matter of fact. Oh, I just thought of something. Well, no, here, this is our first time through. Um, basically, we'll, we'll, we'll take the trip and we'll take the final. Okay, yeah, never mind. So, this is gonna be the final. We're gonna fight the final boss and get the shine, but. It yeah, okay, that's how I'm gonna do it. Okay, so let's just uh, go through Corona Mountain. We already did this for the blue coins earlier in a previous part, but that's fine. That's how it goes, you know. So we've been through this, it's pretty simple. You get a one up here, refill life. If you got hit. And there's water there if you need it. And then just go on the stupid boat for hate. Which all I have to do is bitch about it and kinda anticipate the worst and it turns out for the best. And I gotta say the game looks like some of its prettiest in this final stretch. Like, it's looking really pretty right now. This game looks really pretty art style in, in this, in the volcano, and then, like, once we get to the final boss arena, holy shit, the game looks so good. I think it's really pretty and just cool, really, really cool looking as well. So, I like this last part of the game. And I think it's a fun final boss. Like, I think it's nice and fun. You know, people can hate on it. People say it's shit. The, the voice acting is whatever. But it, it's what it is what it is, you know. But I think this is... Honestly, I wish this was like an actual level. Or I wish it was more flushed out. Or longer, harder, I guess. But it, it's something at least, right? It's some build up to the final fight. And even though it is just Bowser. And it's, I, don't know, I, I like it. I think it's cool. I think it's fun. It, it's, it's different. It's unique. I don't mind it. But whatever, anyway. And also, it uses what we've learned, you know? It, um, it uses the boat. It uses clouds. It uses... Um, the flood. The hover nozzle. It uses, um... The rocket nozzle. The only thing it doesn't use is the turbo nozzle, which is a bummer, but... Yeah, that's real good water. I mean, you can't even call that- it's not even water. You can't even call that water, even if it's just water to them because they're like in a hot- that's their like hot tub and a jacuzzi. That's not actually water, so... I don't know what it is, but it's not water. How dare you disturb my family vacation! Absolutely beautiful graphics. Um, for GameCube, it's pretty good. I just, I think it looks really pretty. But this is like the simplest thing in the world. Is it easy? Well, the first shot is. I think it's harder? Yeah, it is. We just gotta get past the flame and then just do the butt stomps and uh, these platforms fall down faster every time. And it's more good group and they fly you around and then they get bullet bills and stuff. And when he starts shooting fire, all you have to do is spray him in the mouth, and he'll shut right up, and then you get past him. Which I actually didn't know that. I always just ran the opposite direction um, when he did that instead, which, whatever. And there's also, like, the game, like, really slows down here. It gets, like, really under the 20 frames per second. But, whatever, man. You know, I'm not here to complain about frame rates, especially when it's not that big of a deal. But that's another reason why I'd love to see- I almost fell off the fucking edge there. I would love to see a freaking HD remake to this game. Come on, we can make this, we can make this. There we go, there we go, there we go. Here, squirt, 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 shut up, shut up, shut up. Get away from me, get away from me. Okay, and this is the final freaking hit. Get away. Okay, and then we're done. That's it. It's so easy. Oh, blue bolt bills will give you one ups if you need it. But that is it. Time for the ending. Yeah, this game... 
final boss, you know, the whole stretch, the whole thing takes like five minutes. The pachinko machine went faster than I expected. This is the finale. I, it has to be. I can't, I can't just, there, there's, there's nothing left. Like there wasn't, there'd be nothing. I, this had to be the finale. Oh boy. Okay. Cutscene. Oh, that, the, the pipe's clear there for some reason in the background. I don't know why. Or it's not, it's like transparent texture. It's not textured, it's just modeled. Oh yeah, game, yeah, keep, keep, uh, stuttering. That used to be really sad to me when I was a kid. It really was. That was kind of like a, a sweet, like touching heart. No, not like heartbreaking, but it was just it was sad, you know, to me when I was younger. That was sad. Now it's obviously it's not, especially when you see what happens in like five seconds. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get the cords out of the way. But I always liked sending and sending cutscenes and stuff. Junior, I've I got thought it's nice. Difficult to tell you about Princess Peach. I know she's not really my mom. I like the song too. Someday when I'm bigger. Gonna hang I those fuck. Oh. That's my boy. <laughs> well put, son. A royal Koopa line is as strong as ever. But for now, let's just rest a while. Yeah, what, what song is that? Can, like, what was that little freaking tune there, man? I like that. I like that song. Shit. Where is that in the uh, official soundtrack? Man? Soundboard. Yeah, see, Flood and Flood's fine. Like, nothing actually happened to Flood. And really, nothing did happen to Flood. Like, are you kidding me? We just used his uh, abilities. Whatever. Ah. Uh, I also like the, I really like the credit theme. I, I, there was a really awesome orchestrated remix that I used to like. Uh, I actually, I want to find it again because I actually want to listen to it and see if it's still as good as it once was to me. But. Yeah, I really liked it, and I still like this credits th theme, I think it's really good. I didn't think the credits were nice, you know, you get a little post-game action. Um, they're actually enjoying their vacation, so, you know, this whole game had a purpose of clearing up, uh, even though, like, you go on vacation, they definitely spent way more time on vacation than probably intended, like, getting kidnapped and having this whole, uh, or adventure and stuff. But yeah, you know, you, after you beat the game and you clear all the threats and stuff, you actually get to relax, right? So this game, you know, you've been cleaning up this place, and, you know. You haven't really been really, like, evil. You've just kind of been cleaning up. You know, the goop was evil and stuff, but there wasn't any really too like, threatening, I guess. The Mana Ray is probably the most threatening thing you actually fought and like, got rid of. Team Blue too, I guess. Serena Beach had quite a pretty, pretty good shit. Pretty good boss fights. But, um, yeah, you, just, the ending is them relaxing and what they came to do in the first place, which is pretty cool. And that's the end. He dropped his uh, paintbrush, and Il Pintissimo found it. Which, boy oh boy, is that like a cliffhanger for a sequel. I'm waiting for that sequel, my dude. Well, I guess the only thing left now is... Blue coins. So let's just turn in the blue coins. 
Did I ever show this? You know what? I'm just gonna let it run. We'll talk over this way. Well, why not? I don't think I've ever shown. Uh, did I? When we, I don't know if the first part. I'm pretty sure I never watched this. So. I rarely ever watch this because it's just stuff. But it's the beginning thing. You know? it gives us some more story and stuff. I thought when they showed the succulent seafood when I was younger, I thought it was like a level, and then I was like, wait, what? That level's not in this game. So I was like a, a cut level or something, but no, it's not really anything. But yeah, man. Good game. I love this game. Just. God damn. So fun. I don't know, man. Just. Everything about this game. The way it looks, sounds, I don't know, man. Plays, I just, I love it. It's great. Alright, well, let's turn in our blue coins and call it a series, at least for now. And the bonus videos, I will cover what you get for 120 shines, which you just have to go beat the box again and go through the credits, and then it's just uh, a different end card instead of Il Pentissimo. It's, uh, you'll see, it's pretty gay. But I'll go over that in the, the bonus episode, and then I'll do some glitches, and then I'll call it. That's it. Then the series is finally 100% complete, and we won't have to worry about it. Ever again, although, I don't know, Super Mario Sunshine content, like, if there's ever ROM hacks, you know, I'll definitely be playing that. 100%, like, the first major, like, actual ROM hack that comes out for this game, that, you know, like, kind of like they do for 64. Shit, I'm all over that. Sequel, all over it. HD remake, all over it. Shit, if they do an HD remake... We're having a pl third playthrough on this channel. I don't give a fuck. Come on, Sunshine HD. Switch. Or at least Virtual Console, man. That'd be pretty cool, but... Nah. HD remat. Do it. Let's do a remaster, my boy. Or a sequel, honestly, at this point. But, with Odyssey coming out, sequel won't happen for at least... No, no, I don't know, man. I just, I love this freaking game. So, but instead of rambling like I usually do, uh, and I usually would cut out now, so... I'm just gonna say goodbye and thanks for watching. Uh, I got a bonus video coming up if you like. And Oh, you know what? Hold up. 68 lives? I can't end it. I can't end a video like that. I can't end it. 68? Boy, we need freaking 69. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. We're, we're gonna end this right. With 69 lives. I think that's a proper, proper ending. Right there. So, I will see you some other time. And by that, I mean I will speak to you because we don't actually see each other. So, later. Actually, what does this guy say? Hey guy, you want to go out to that island? Are you sure? Alright, then hop in there. Because, yeah, there's not, there's totally not a boat that could take you there. You shot out of a fucking cannon. Whoa. Man, it feels like for a finale, it's just, it's not good enough just to say bye. But. Bye.